Okay, so in this video, we'll cover um, the checkout process from the distributor side. So this would be if you were logged into your back office and went to um, orders, place order, you would come to this page. Now the shopping cart portion of it looks exactly the same as the public side. The real difference is on the checkout page on what information you can enter. Um, but you still have all the same features, the Canadian shipping, um, the ability to filter products, all of that is still here. So we'll go to the checkout page. Um, again, all of the same uh, features for expedited shipping or um, removing or adding items to your cart here on this page. For applicant information, if it's a new applicant, you can just type the information as you normally would. Um, or you do have two uh, new options now, which is to either select someone from your downline, so that would be someone that already has centers in the binary, or you can actually select someone uh, who's previously ordered from you. So this can save you um, a little bit of work in, in typing everything in. Um, so if you go select from downline, this may take uh, a moment to load depending on how many centers you have in your downlines, um, but once it does, you'll be able to select someone and have their info, whatever information they have um, in their profile um, loaded for you know their name, address, um, email, phone, all of that. If they have it, it'll be added. Um, so just I'm going to select one, and you'll see this person doesn't have an address on file, but you can. Now you know their name, their email, telephone number, um, and you can fill out the rest. Or you can select from orders. Um, so these are previous orders, and I can just select one. And so this will um, be their information. You can you know, copy the applicant address, or you can put in new billing inf information. Um, it will not remember their credit card number. You will have to, you know, enter in the billing information from scratch uh, every time. But it does save you a few steps in entering in, say, you know, um, addresses, phone numbers, and emails. Um, you'll see your sponsor information is already populated for you. Um, you will still need to check the check boxes here, and you'll be able to pick or change the placement. Um, same as it was before, you, you can't type in here, you can just pick the placement um, where you want it to go. So, you know, let's say I want to look for, and again, I'm logged in as Joyce, so I'm going to look for Joyce, and I want to do her center number 30. Here she is, so we're going to pick that, and you know we select left or right, um, and then we'll be able to place the order. Again, if you have any um, errors that come up, you'll be able to correct them and, um, and place the order. When you're logged into your back office and placing an order, um, because you've selected the placement, then you will be able to, um, you know, the card will be charged immediately and the order will go directly to Richway. Uh, for processing, so there won't be any delays on it um, like there can be for orders placed on the public card. And that's, um, that's about it for placing the order, um, and I'll let you know if there's any more tips or anything that you need to know, um, or as always, you can email me, support at thebiomatcompany.com uh, with any questions that you might have. All right, thank you.